guys, what we're looking at right now is our fourth hydrothermal feature. So we have the hot springs, the fumaroles, the mud pots, and the geyser. The geyser has a lot of similarities to a hot spring, except somewhere in that piping, there is a constriction. At that constriction, air bubbles will form and they will hold the pressurized water underground. When this water is pressurized and held underground, can erupt, can turn the steam, it can reach temperatures of 450 degrees in most places in the park. Up in Norris Geyser Basin, about 25 miles north of us, it is the hottest area in the park. Water can reach temperatures of 750 degrees held under pressure. Eventually, these air bubbles release, you get the eruption. 